Guys, today we are looking at the RadioMaster TX16S SE. Now, for those of you that are familiar with FR Sky SE on the X9D series, basically stood for their upgrade model. With the TX16S series, the SE is actually their entry level budget model. Now, everything looks identical to the Max and all that fun stuff, uh, minus the, some of the fancier trim and uh, color aluminum stuff. But essentially, the internals are all the same, the casing is all the same. You can actually upgrade this SE to any of the other models of the um, TX16S series. Um, the first and most noticeable difference is going to be that the uh, SE only comes with Welcome to OpenTX. Effer Sky and the Futaba FHSS uh, protocols. Um, now there's a couple of other extra ones in there that I'm going to show you in a second, but it means that it's not a full multi-protocol internal module. Um, you do have a little more access than just Effer Sky and Futaba, um, but if you need Spectrum, um, you know hubson or any of those like other toy brand ones and stuff like that then you're going to need to get one of the other models but if you already have a uh, multi-protocol external module or you only fly a first sky um, you know this is going to be one of the best options out there now the first three things that we're going to go over are basically what the differences are between the sc and the other models um, so obviously the first one is going to be the lack of a full multi-protocol module. Next is going to be the lack of an actual touch display. Um, so I think it's in 2.4 OpenTX they plan to have the touch capabilities kind of uh, up and running. Um, so even if you have a touch display version right now, there is no use for it. So there's almost no difference there. Um, and then the gimbals. So these are supposed to be standard gimbals, not hall sensor. But I gotta be honest with you guys, man. This is ridiculous how good Radio Master's gimbals are. That I was impressed with the uh, hall sensor gimbals. I'm actually just as impressed uh, with these non hauls. Um, if you're honestly on a tight budget and you just need the best possible radio you can get for under 100 bucks, this is it. This will compete with and quite possibly put to shame any of the FR Sky series radios um, up to like the Horus there. Horus is obviously they use some pretty high end stuff. Um, not as high end as like Futaba or Spectrum, but better than their other kind of junkier stuff. Um, this is going to be the best bang for the buck radio and I have a hard time even seeing any other option that could possibly offer as much value as this one right here. So we're going to look at the menu system. So most of you are going to be familiar with all of this stuff anyways. It's all pretty straightforward. It's actually the exact same as um, any of the other TX16S or if you're used to the jumper radios, the T16, T18. Um, a little bit different layout than say a Tyrannus X9D or QX7 but if you're familiar with the OpenTX um, platform you will have no problem getting used to all of this stuff everything is kind of very intuitive of you know where you would find it how to use it so this is going to be your normal model setup page that you would normally set up each model so we're going to go down right away to the internal RF setup. So that's for external RF, where if you want to use Crossfire or any of the other external modules. Up here, this is your internal RF. Now notice it does say multi because there is more than just one protocol still. Um, we'll go through this quickly here. So if you happen, like, so you are going to see a bunch of options here and not all of them will apply so i saw one where is it fly sky i think okay anyways these are going to be all of the valid protocols so anyone familiar with old school futaba corona was kind of like an alternative cheaper brand that you could get for modules and receivers 
Um, so the Corona modules will work when same with the receivers. This is your FR Sky options. Now you go into high tech hot. Um, what is that Grockner? Radio link. Red Pine, not sure what that is. This is the old Futaba protocol, FHSS, Skyart. So you do get a pretty decent still selection of protocols to use. So we'll go back out of that. Just want to find. Oh, yeah, so there it is. If you happen to pick a protocol that is not there, <laughs> you're gonna see invalid protocol uh, message pop up so most of you guys you know are familiar with all the various different uh, protocols on the other modules this doesn't have them all so if we go down to external yeah your ppm xjt for f for sky spectrum crossfire and multi-protocol so if you already have a jumper or radio master multi-protocol you will put it on that setting plug in your module and your module becomes the transmitter overall man i am very impressed with this you know everything about this radio aside from the price screams amazing quality and deal like you're getting the same exact radio as say the 250 usd max just without all the fancy trim you want the fancy trim go ahead and put on and out the upgrade faceplate and get the anodized aluminum bits and pieces um, but you know this is exactly what fpv is about in my mind you know the tinkering and modifying and kind of you know just you get a good platform that is really solid and you know without even modifying it you could use this happily for years but you know like most of us we are rarely happy with just anything so you know this gives you a perfect example uh, or way to kind of modify your radio as you know your uh, finances allow you don't have to just figure out a way to come up with you know a whole bunch of money all in one go